Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in iTunes and I will be showing you how to burn a CD using iTunes. First things first, it seems obvious, but make sure you have iTunes open and you will need to create a playlist. So in order to do that, you will need to go down here to the bottom left hand corner where you see an addition symbol. It says create a playlist click on that addition symbol and it will then prompt you to type in a name for the playlist so for this video purposes I will go ahead and type in demo and I will click enter and I will be done and I now have a playlist selected so once you have a playlist you then need to drag songs into your playlist to be able to burn the CD so we want to go up to our music library right here the top tab and go ahead and click a few songs that you would like to add to that playlist once you have the song selected you can then click and hold and drag these songs down into the playlist and then let go of the mouse go back to the playlist and the songs are now within the playlist so in order to burn a CD you will need to go ahead and have a playlist selected so I've gotten my burn CD demo playlist selected there are a few ways to prompt the burn CD tab the first one will be depending on what version of iTunes you have when you are within the playlist section here there will be down here in the bottom right hand corner a gray button that says burn playlist if that is the case go ahead and click on that button the other option is to go over to the playlist over here in the list and right click on it and go to burn playlist to disk go ahead and click on that now now once you have this panel open here you have a few options to choose from you see here we have an audio CD, an MP3 CD, and a data CD. Now depending on what you're going to be using this burnt CD for, you may want to change these options. But if you're just wanting to burn a CD that you can listen to within your car or your CD player at your home, then you just need to go ahead and stick with the audio CD. If you want to put more songs on the CD, go ahead and select MP3 CD. If you've got data or audio books or you know, something that you're wanting to use on your computer, go ahead and choose the data CD. But let's stick with the audio CD option here. You'll see a few options below the audio CD. You'll see a gap between songs, and then you can go all the way up to five seconds or none, depending on what you want, whatever your preference is. I choose one or two seconds. That way it has a little time to breathe there in between songs. And use sound check. You can go ahead and keep that selected. I do. Uh, really what that does is it allows iTunes to go through as it's burning the CD. And if there's any hiccups or anything wrong with the audio, it does its best to try to uh, remedy that. Uh, include CD text. Now you can keep this selected if you have a car or vehicle that uh, displays text as the CD is playing uh, then it will display the text of the song or the album name depending on if you have it inputted or inserted into iTunes so go ahead and go ahead and click those things there now once you've done that you do need to make sure you have a blank disk inserted into your computer's disk drive so make sure you have a read and writable CD inserted into your computer's disk drive. It doesn't matter if it's a Mac or a Windows. Uh, the CDs you can buy at Best Buy or Target. Uh, just ask the clerk for a blank CD. Once you have one of those inserted into your computer, you then can click this blue button or whatever color it may be on your computer that says burn. Click that button there and if you do not have a disk inserted yet, once you click it, it will say please insert a blank disk. Now, if you do have a disk inserted, right here you will see the progress bar come up and it it will go ahead and burn your disk now once the disk is completed you will then see it under the disk section up here once you're done just eject your disk and you are good to go you now have your first burnt CD within iTunes if you have any questions about this process go ahead and put them in the comment box below I always respond to people who have questions about my tutorials and guys as always thank you so much for watching my videos it really helps me out don't forget to subscribe like and comment and rate my videos and I will see you guys next time